All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to switch over to the Xenon build by Chef Cody. This is going to be for Amazon Fire TV customers only because if you have an NVIDIA Shield, most likely you already have this build. It's um, the one that looks like it is Cody, but it's um, Chef Cody. For everybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, it has received an update or two recently. And um, it now has the Exodus add-on in here, which is an incredible add-on for movies and TV shows. It's really good at finding like 720p TV shows that play pretty reliably. I want to show you these playlists. So this is what separates this build from anything else. Well, first of all, look at the layers of information that you have. So you have the widgets on the top. You have the main menu right here. You have the sub menu, and this sometimes wraps around like for days up in here. Same thing with the sub sub menu is what I call it. I don't know, um, but excellent just uh, playlists too that just go on for days. And also, he's got shortcuts down here for the like most essential stuff that you'll need. Um, so when you exit out of your build, it's going to be this second power button right here because you want to save in your, your changes. And um, your favorites will be down here in the bottom left. I'm also going to come out with the video on how to get our current favorite list from the cloud drive and put it into your build. And it's not bad at all. Um, this video is going to be sort of chopped up into two. Um, so. I'm going to show you what to do after the build goes in right now, or you can see our other playlist. But the main thing is, is that because the size of this build, you want to make sure that you're disabling the add-ons that run in the background. The way that you do that is um, there's a shortcut in it in your favorites if you um, get our favorites from the cloud drive, but most of y'all aren't going to have that yet, or you might have it. Yeah, you'll have it because you have it in your original build right now. But just in case, um, the program add-ons are right here. So you'll have an actual section called add-ons. You'll click on program add-ons and click on auto runs. Click on open. And if you want to, you could take a picture of my screen right now. Um, but you can see, so I've got an audio add on right there and then look at this list of video add-ons that run in the background normally that is pretty crazy so this will make it to where you can use this build on a fire stick he does have a xenon light build that he um has an update recently so You could go ahead and switch over this, give us a shot, and then whenever he comes out with the Xenon light build, switch over and you know play around with that too. He also has a um, a Cody 18 build that he's been working on for a while, so you're set up to switch over to that too whenever you need to. But I don't want to go too in depth because I'm trying to keep this video under 30 minutes. But um, anyhow. Oh yeah, the the last step. So when you're done um, switching over, you're gonna come in here. You're gonna click on this to advanced settings. So you have a Xenon section. When you get your advanced settings, okay, it activates the top left corner for you, and you make this twenty percent or no ten percent more than whatever it is. So if it's sixty, you would do sixty six. So just scroll over. You see the way I am moving this toggle make it around 10 percent more just you know go up a little bit and then click up when you're done and click your select button click remove settings if that pops up but whatever it does just um you always go with the green answer in cody it's simple so if it gives you two options look to see if one of them is red if it's red don't ever click it <laughs> that's pretty much it but the power or the exit menu is right here. I'm going to click it. It's in the bottom sub 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 menu and it's the second one from the right. Click it, click ex exit, and go out. I'm going to show you now how to go over. So basically what you're going to do now that you know what it looks like and um, what you're looking at, 
and what to do after the build. Let's go over what to do to get to there. So just restart this video when you're done with the, the video and watch it again if you want on how to optimize your build. I am going to click on Stream Digital, but you're going to click on your Kodi icon and pull up your build. There's one thing we need to do here. So this is going to be... We'll give it one second for it to load, but we've got to get the... Um, as you can see, I've already tested this run through. So I already have my Chef Wizard in here. I'm going to actually uninstall that real quick while we're doing this. Well, no, I'm not, because that did take a little while. I'm going to show you exactly what to do though, to get it. <laughs> so I'm sort of cheating, basically, but this way I keep this video down. But you'll see it's the same exact steps. All right, so we've got to save your data. So go up to your favorites, click the up button twice, click on favorites. We're going to scroll up and over, and we're going to keep on going up. And when we get to, where's my backup stuff? It's Merlin Data Backup. There it is. Okay. So how to back up. <laughs> Duh. So in red or blue or whatever, um, look for um, Merlin Data Backup. You'll also see the server icon on the right-hand side. So you can look for that big server icon. You won't be able to miss that. Click it. Click back up your data. Hey. All right, so if you get in a situation like that, let's go straight to the source this time. I'm going to go to System section, scroll down, Programs. Go to Merlin Data Backup, long press it, click Settings. You could leave this whatever it is. So this really doesn't matter. Just I'm just making sure that mine is connected. So because we're gonna bring this add-on with us. Click on Merlin Data. Click back up your data. All right. And then scroll down. Click back up your sources. Click back up your Cody favorites. And um, that's really it. That's all. Go ahead and back out of here. Scroll down. Well, no, that's it. Let's go system, install zip files. So here we go, from zip repo. Click on that. So in your system section, click on from zip repo. Click on install from zip file. Scroll down, find builds.digs. So in your build section of this, make sure that you are finding Diggs Chef Cody. Click on it. And then click on Install Wizard. And, and just go ahead and click on the Chef Wizard, whatever it is in there. This is, I'm not going to lie, this is going to take a little while. In the last video, it took me about five minutes. But no matter what, just continue hanging out. The way you can tell it's working is click on My Add-ons. And then click the two dot menu and when you come back here yours is going to say currently downloading right here and that means that it's working it's it's doing its thing it just takes a little while but um whenever that is done you're going to click on my add-ons click on program add-ons you are going to scroll down and where did it go? The Chef Wizard. Click it. Click open. Click on save data. Or no, one step further. Let's go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom and let's click on the Chef settings. Scroll down. So on maintenance, on this tab, you're going to scroll over to the right. 
you're going to come down, you're going to click enable auto clean, and you're going to scroll down and change this to weekly. Scroll to the left and down, scroll right, click keep favorites, and click keep my whitelist add ons. Actually, favorites will already be selected, but we need the whitelist too. So go ahead and make sure that's selected. If you have real to bridge, you're going to select that. If you use track, you're going to select that too. All right. And click OK. Click on Save Data one more time. Scroll down. Keep on going down. Click Edit My Whitelist. We're going to scroll up and over, and we're going to do that every time pretty much. So if you ever get lost during this, it's because that I'm actually starting from the very bottom of the list, not at the top. So from the very bottom of the list up, we are going to find the URL resolver. We're going to click that. Scroll up and over. And you're going to click on the universal scrapers. Scroll up and over. So every time you click on something, it starts you back at the very top. So you have to scroll up and over, scroll up. And what you're looking for are these two, Universal Scrapers, URL Resolver. Make sure those are both toggled. The other one is called the Resolve URL. Make sure you take that with you. We're going to also continue scrolling up from the bottom. And if you need to, you can pause this video at any time and feel free to rewind and replay. But um, we actually really don't need to worry about bringing any kind of secondary, any backup builds. The main thing we need is we need auto runs. Where's auto runs? Hmm. And we need Merlin data. So Merlin data, when you're starting from the very top now, scroll down. You won't need Fists of Fury because um, there's adult add-ons in there. But I recommend you bring Neptune Rising. I really wouldn't go too out of your way to bring stuff because it's a big build already. So actually, I would choose between whichever your favorite for Neptune and Uranus. If you don't have a favorite, um, just go ahead and make it um, Neptune, just because I don't like the name for the other one. Click on your Project M. That's a dead add-on, so eventually you're going to get rid of this Project M, but it's in your favorites. If you haven't ever tested it out, test it out while you got the chance. It's still working for most of it, but some sections do not work. But it's got excellent boxing, things like that. Where is our add-on for our Plex? If you have a paid provider, remember to bring your paid provider repositories with you. So it would be Gears TV repository or Players Club repository. Or if you were um, thinking about getting one for sports season that's coming up, definitely go ahead and... I would grab at least the players club just to make sure, but I think he does have he does have a paid section in there. But you can't ever have enough, you know, plan B options. There it is. Okay, so starting from the very top, it's in with the video add-ons, which is kind of weird. But there it is. It's um below a live HD. I'm gonna click on it. Here's one that we wanted to take with us too. It's called Input Stream RTMP. That makes you be able to connect to more sports and live TV. And we are now just looking for Merlin data backup. There, nope, there's Merlin repository. Come on, baby. There it is. 
front at the top, so they're sort of all mixed in together. But um, Merlin data backup. If you'd rather see a list of add-ons that we recommend, you can see your start guide. There's a section that's in there that is about switching builds. You can click on that and go directly to it in the start guide. When we're done, we're going to click click here to continue at the very top of the list. So it's right up here, and that is good. Hey, um, there's one thing that you'll need to know. So if your source file is gone, like um, this is where um, you'll go to your Merlin data, and that's in your program add-ons. So like when I was showing you at the beginning of the video where we went to program add-ons to get your um, auto runs, you'll click on Merlin data up in there and you'll click restore up in there. But if your favorites and your your sources are gone or something like that, then you still have a backup copy is what I'm trying to get at. And also see our, um, if you want me to show you how to get our favorites list for the Chef Cody build and the source list for, uh, for the Chef Cody build, from our cloud drive, and if you have the cloud drive, reach out to me and I'll make a video about that. All right. So let's click on the chef builds. I like trying the second server. So it's dig xenon server two. He also has a light version in here, but it hasn't been updated recently. So I'd recommend the xenon still. He's got a bunch of builds up in here. And we're set up for success when Cody 18 rolls out. He's been working on his 18 build for like months now. So I'm going to try this dig Xenon server, server 2. And we're going to click on fresh install right here. And this is where I'm going to sort of leave you hanging. You're going to click continue when you're done. All right, and this is this you're starting to see this. This is the same exact step you do when you update your build. So you click fresh install, then you click continue. It's going to clear everything off of your build for you. So just go ahead and put down your remote somewhere safe, and then let it do its thing. When it's done, it's going to ask you what you want to do. You're going to click force close. And just remember, don't click anything in red. The next time that you open up your build, just like with the, an update you're gonna go ahead and let it sit for about three minutes and it's gonna finish doing its work on its end and go ahead and restart this video to see how to auto um, or to turn off the the programs that are running in the background using the auto run program and if you're having a hard time finding your favorites or if you can't find um, your sources by going to the file manager or the install from zip if you don't have any sources in there, go ahead and click your Merlin data backup also and go ahead and restore those. That is how to switch over to the Chef Cody build from the BK links or any build in the Stream Digital Wizard right there. But yep, yeah, reach out to me if you need any help at all that is a good little upgrade I would say but it's really just dependent on you if you like lighter builds this is gonna be a very good build for you the BK links build one of the best as far as um the pound for pound best and also there's not many light builds out there just to be honest with you they're not many at all but that is that enjoy the build tell us what you think so if you like that more than you like your current build or if you don't like it um, tell us that too because we want to know either way that's the way we judge who is the premier build that we offer our, our customers going forward all right be good be safe hopefully you had a good weekend and reach out to us thank you